Hey everyone, Cynix here, and these are the monthly inspirations for May 2014. Last month, I showed you guys a couple of my biggest overall artistic inspirations. And for this month, I'm going to go back a little farther and show you guys some of the biggest inspirations that helped me when I was just starting out with art. So the first artist I want to share is Nicholas Jansen otherwise known as Arn or Prometheus. I don't know, he's had a lot of different names and websites over the years, but he can currently be found at androidarts.com. Now, normally I can just pop up a few images from an artist and give you a pretty good idea of what they're all about, but I think for Nicholas, I'm actually going to have to show you images of his actual web pages because they tend to be very archival and they're filled with this weird brainstorming energy that really is accompanied by a lot of design notes and text. So to get the full experience, you really have to visit his website and check out all the different pages. But if you can only check out just one thing, you have to check out his art tutorial, which is possibly the greatest art tutorial ever put on the internet. I would say it was the biggest influence on my beginning art career in terms of learning everything about art. It's very concise and it just kind of goes through a lot of different properties of painting and color theory in very simple ways. And in fact, when I go back to it these days, it still holds up to being something really wonderful. So you guys definitely need to look through that. But aside from that, he also does a lot of really cool brainstormy type ideas revolving around old console or PC games from the 80s and 90s. And he does amazing redesigns. And I would say his biggest pro to him as an artist is just his simplistic and effective design sense. So that is definitely something I try to pick up from his work as well as his good eye for color. He's one of the best when it comes to doing reflected light on a piece. He always has great bounced light and he manages to get a lot of hue variation into everything that always looks very accurate and stunning. But anyway, here is one of the typical pages you can find on his website, which is his cutesy quake project or quake, <laughs> which is a great name. Uh, where he just kind of took different characters and things from the Quake universe and made them cutesy or just redesigned them in his own style. And that is really where he shines in doing stuff like this. It's also just fun to read through his super intricate design notes on everything. I think I could get lost in his website for hours on end. So I'll just move right along and you guys can check that out on your own. The next artist I wanted to share with you guys is Bengal, who is a French illustrator specializing in a lot of comic book work, but he was definitely one of my main stylistic influences when I was starting out, although it's definitely faded away over the years, but when I was just starting out, a lot of my artwork had very similar stylistic traits to his work, although nowhere near his level. But one of the things he really specializes in is, well, drawing girls. But aside from that, his wonderful color palettes. Um, and I guess it captures that, that French flair for having great color palettes that seems to be a lot more common in the European countries than it is over here. But, you know, who knows? Hopefully we can pick up on those great color palettes. But he has done a great job at combining that color sense with a more Japanese manga influenced art style. And I think the results have always been really striking. So he actually has something exciting going on, which I just found out right after I started uh, planning this video. And that is he's doing a Kickstarter right now. He's currently starting it. I think it's been going for one week now, but he is making a deck of playing cards and I'm sure you guys can get all the info. I'll post the link below, uh, but if you want to check out some of his art, that might actually be an interesting way to just collect some of his art. Even for just $10, get a little pack of cards with Bengal art on it. Sounds fun to me. Uh, so anyway, I think that's going to be it for my two artists of this month. 
But I do also want to share an animation inspiration for you guys. And that is going to be this beautiful uh, award-winning animation by Ryan Woodward. And it's set to the song Thought of You. But you guys can definitely check that out on your own. It is on YouTube. And it has a great gestural style of animation, which I personally love. And Ryan Woodward happens to have a background as a 2D effects animator. So a lot of his animation has a very energetic and crazy flowing feel to it. So it's a lot of fun to watch and study. And I'm also going to recommend you guys check out the making of video, which is also on YouTube. And it is just as interesting as the animation itself. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy these inspirations. And I hope May is a productive and wonderful month for your artistic career. And last but not least, here is a simple little 3DS image of my pet bird for no reason. I just had to make something for the end. So here's my 3DS image. And thank you guys for watching.